Ideally, you'd change all these out at the same time. I'm not going to. Ouch. I don't know if you guys remember, but the last time we went RVing whenever we were in Florida and we got flooded out from a hurricane, whenever we was in Miramar Beach at Camp Gulf, my jacks on the front, the springs on those broke. Well, at least one on each of the springs broke. So I've got to get those replaced. And I called HWH, which is the manufacturer of our hydraulic jacks. I ordered some springs from them, had it shipped in a couple days, super easy. That's where I would recommend if you have HWH, any components from them, just call them and get the parts from them. Don't try searching for it on your own. Okay, so let me show you how I'm gonna get these springs on. So I'm in my dad's shop at the moment. Hope you don't mind. So I have my jack springs here. I checked on YouTube videos of how to install these and several people were doing them different ways. But a couple things that you wanna take note of is whenever you get these springs, they're gonna be freshly painted and they'll paint them black and you've gotta bend them in order to break that paint apart. Once you have that paint broke apart all the way through the spring, to where it's no longer sticking, then stick something in the springs. Bend it over and stick nails. Um, if you had some washers, you could stick some washers in there. Just whatever you can think of that would create a gap because the idea here, what you wanna create is you wanna create this longer than what it is because of the fact that it's difficult to stretch this out from one eye loop down to the bottom eye loop where your jack plate, where your hydraulic jack plate, I'm gonna call it jack plate, I don't know if that's what the proper term is, but the floor. Um, so you, you've gotta get that stretched out through there and it's a little difficult to do. So I'm just using nails, sticking those through there. So I'm gonna do a few more and then let's go try and get this thing put on. So I am up here underneath our RV currently. The hard part about doing this is that you can't have your jacks down. You think, well, I need to lower my jacks to raise my rig up so I can get up underneath it. You don't wanna do that because that's just gonna make it that much more difficult for you to stretch the spring from the top to the bottom. So you gotta have the jacks up. Now, if you had something to drive your RV up on that would give you more ground clearance underneath it, great. Or if you have a big enough maybe floor jack system or something um, that could could actually lift up the front of the RV without using your jacks, that would be amazing too. I do not, so I'm having to get me a, a mat down so that I don't get filthy. And I wanna show you guys just how I, how I kinda need to do this. Okay, well, let's just hope I can get it all. all. Right, here's my old spring, which I need to remove. There, there's my old spring, throw that thing down. Now, I'm, I've got a little bit of a, just a normal car jack, and I've gotta jack this up, because my goal is, right now, because this other spring, sorry, it's, it's really difficult to, to video this and show you guys, but my other spring, because of the tension on it, is pulling this end up, and this end is low. So I've got to use a floor jack, a small one. I think this is like a two or three ton floor jack. And I've got to pump it up on this side to raise it up. Also, it would help if I kind of move this around because it needs to be more like in this position. So let me do that real quick. So I did have to pick the most difficult side to film on. You know, this side of my RV does not have a slide out. So it is the most compact, difficult, 
area to get into. Now my other side where I have the other jack, uh, wherever it's at, oh right there, it is easy to get to because I have a slide on that side. Anyway, okay, so take that into consideration. So what I found was this rod. So my plan is, I already got it sticking through the hole up there. My plan is now is to get the rod through here with my hands on both sides of it and pull it down to right there. Okay, here we go. Son of a gun, that's tight. Ouch. Uh, okay. So I've got it angled too far up, and that's part of the problem. Okay, so I lowered this a little bit. It's going to be a little bit difficult, more difficult, but I think that's going to be the best way for me to pull this down. Oh, shoot. That hurts. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Talk about tough, man. That's tough. Ah, shoot. Uh, I wish I could get my body turned around. Well, I'm down here. I'm going to have to do that. I can't. Uh, I'm going to try doing this while I'm on my belly. Come on, baby. Get on there. Oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, get it. I oh, turned that that way a little bit. I'm sorry, buddy. I hate it. I thought you were sorry. Here we go. Ah, that gummit. Shoot. <sighs> well, I cannot get that silly thing. <sighs> I can get it to touch the lip of this right here, but I can't get it to actually go through it. <sighs> okay. I need a hammer. All right, I'm going to have to get a hammer, and then when I got it there, I'm just going to have to hammer it on. Actually, I'm going to try the jack handle, the floor jack handle bar. See if I can get it on with it. Dirty, stinking dog. Come on now. Here we go. Mm. I almost wish I could bend, bend that silly thing a little bit. will bend, but I sure would like to try. <sighs> that gum cotton picking thing. Oh shoot, okay. I just realized I didn't get it on film. But I got it on. I guess that's all that matters. So one thing I did was focus. This this bar or this hook was up there at that top eye. And so I just flipped it around and thought, well, I'm gonna see if it's any different, a little easier to get on, and it was. Let me say this, ideally, you change all these out at the same time. I'm not going to. It's tough, it's hard, it's hard to get them. And so when you buy them, so it comes in a package of two. HWH sold me two complete sets, so I have four springs, so, if another spring breaks, then I will use the extra spring that I have. Because I, I tried to tinker with taking the other ones off and uh, they're still pretty stiff and pretty difficult to take off and so I just don't wanna mess with it. And it's difficult enough to get the new ones on. So I'm just gonna keep the extra ones for when I need them. So here I am on the other side. And again, this is easier access to get in. And as you can see, I've actually already got this one on. It was uh, very simple because I have a lot of room to get in here, but I did the same process 
So that is kind of a difficult job. So if you don't have the capabilities, physical health or whatever, to be able to do it, then just take it somewhere. I'm sure just about any tire shop or any mechanic place will be able to help you out. It doesn't take long. Literally, those two springs that I did, probably 30 minutes at most. But if you if you do have the capabilities, it's not that it's not super 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 difficult. Uh, it does take a little bit of muscle though to get it on there. So I hope this is helpful to whoever is going to be replacing their jack springs. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.